Chloe, I can see where you may have been confused, but I am in fact not a ravenous monster. I am your friend Nico. The handle of my helmet is not prehensile. I'd like you to compare the relative behavior of the creature trying to claw my face off to the behavior of protective headgear you've just soundly defeated. Stop standing there and help him! Yeah! I'm so sorry! I'm okay, Gus. You scared it off. He's talking to the plant. There, there! Chloe, can I see your quiver? Oh my god! You dingle butt! How are we gonna defend ourselves? That is what I'm doing. Those arrows were our primary weapon! I would expect this from Gus, but not you. What? I would always ask permission to break your stuff. Besides, those are synthetic arrows, so there's nothing wrong with them as long as you recycle. I know. They're super expensive. So, should we follow that thing or something? Our covenant stated we'd die if we don't complete this job, and we'd die of starvation otherwise, so yes. Then we could kill it with your fat head. It'll give the yellow wind to you bad cholesterol when it eats you, and then it'll die from heart trouble. Eventually. Actually, there's not a lot of fat in the head, so we'd have to feed it Nico's dingle butt. Shut up, Gus! Oh, I thought we were bonding. Do you really think I'd break your stuff? If you're worried about the monster eating oily foods, you could wash your hair, Chloe. I'm sorry, that was unnecessarily harsh. I still have a caramel if you'd like one. Let's just find this thing and go home so we don't have to talk to each other ever again. I sure hope you guys can pull this together. I would hate for a contract to kill a bunch of kids. Gnome, can I requisition a simple cage trap? It'll take a while, unless you can provide some material stock. You get started on the paperwork. Well, the trees seem to have a lot of complaints about this thing. It scratches a lot, so they'll show us to where it lives. How are we even going to get this thing when Mr. Plana had broke all my arrows? I'm just a stupid, half-blind girl with greasy hair, and you know, honestly, I thought that this would develop into a love-hate relationship thing, but so far it's only been hate, and I hate you! Me or Nico? Yes. I'm encouraged to lie to you about your hair, but also it's useful to receive genuine criticism. Also, dingle butt is not a very barbed insult. Are you apologizing to me or just rubbing it in? Because, you know, I'll tell all the other girls that you eat scabs. Is it wrong to eat scabs? There's much worse things to eat. Looks like this is it, by the way. I'm done with the forms and have approval for your requisition. If you'll place the materials on the ground and let me go. Seriously, though, is there something wrong with eating scabs? The girl's not like that. What happens if they find out? For the record, I would like to say that you kids are doing admirably out here in the woods. Sign here, please. And here. Initial here. And here. Rank here. I believe your rank should be 4.5B. Date here. Okay, stand back. We'll set our coffee beans in this trap, and when the thing comes, it'll be as simple as that. Oh my god, gnomes can do that? Cool! Here, this, can you summon Take from Fasto Kira Best Robbers? Oh, do you want a soul on that? Or should he only spout catchphrases from your cartoon book? Yes, I want a soul for him to be unconditionally supportive. Oh, and he loves awkward girls with greasy hair and glasses, and uh, he should be able to beat up Nico. Hmm, I can do my best. Now, I'm not malicious, so don't mistake this as a threat, but you're going to need to sign some liability waivers. Well, there it is. We could take the cage to the river and put it in. That's horrible. Well, I would shoot it, but someone broke all of my arrows. It's your plan, genius. What do we do from here? Sometimes animals die from stress. Let's feed it to one of its natural enemies. It's the circle of life. How is that more humane than drowning? Besides, what could eat this thing? It smells like my brother's socks. I'm sorry, what? He'll wear the same pair of socks for weeks at a time. How disgusting is that? We could cover it in honey to attract ants. Or Nico said mosquitoes can cause meringue pie fever. While dengue fever is a real and pressing danger, I suspect waiting for this thing to die from a blood parasite may be impractical. 
Chloe, can I see your bow for a second? No, I'm testing an idea. It would be more accurate to just throw the rocks. Yeah, but I throw like a girl. Female praying mantises are way larger than male mantises, and you're larger than us. I think Gus means that today's modern woman has at least equally as much throwing power as a 10-year-old boy. And they eat their mates' heads. Honestly, I hate both of you. Why do I keep getting hate? I like you guys. No one else talks to me. It's not because of the scabs, is it? Okay, fine. We'll just throw the rocks. <laughs> Guys, contract fulfilled. Nico, are you still offering me those caravels? I'm sorry again about those things I said, Chloe. They were rather backwards. Personally, I think it's better not to be in the forest at all. Nico, just shut up. Hey, you kids. You look like you could use a ride. So Gerben tells me you met Coffee Carl. Boy, that guy's a hoot. Crazy as can be, but in a crazier relationship with that girl who does billing for the power station. Will they, won't they kind of thing. You know, he used to be a real killer back in the day, but he softened up a fair amount. Did he sneak up behind you with the shotgun? He loves that bit. Oh man. We call him Coffee Carl because he grows his own coffee, and that is just darn ridiculous at this climate. Typical Carl for you. Of course, I never stayed around his area because the coffee attracts some noisy little creature living out there. It's some kind of endangered animal, so the law won't let Carl hunt the thing. But anyway, your kids did good. See you cut a gnome. You should hide that. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more. And of course, this is only made possible through your support on Patreon. But if you really want to help us out, share the video with your friends. But speaking of friends and sharing, I recommend you go check out Channel Gold Vision. It's pretty funny stuff. Of course, this video was put together by a talented group of individuals and you can check out their stuff as well. But regardless of what you're going to do, thanks for watching our video and giving us a chance. We hope we'll catch you on the next one. All of you have a fantastic day.